Now, we'll discuss about uh, square roots now. We have discussed everything about squares. Just the inverse square root is actually the inverse operation of uh, finding a square. So let's look at a scenario. If the area of a square, if it's 144, what could be the side of the square? So side into side is 144. Side square is 144. Finding the side here is equivalent of, we need to find a number whose square is 144, right? And that number, which we are trying to find out here, is called the square root of 144. That is in simple language, rather than complicating it, we know that 2 square is 4. So square root of 4 is 2. It's just uh, when I say inverse operation, when I write 2 square equal to 4, which is left to right, if I try doing writing it from right to left, that is uh, square root of 4 is 2. Where if 4 is given as 2 square, when I move from right to left, square root of 4 is 2. If I write 3 square equal to 9, square root of 9, which I am reading from right to left, square root of 9 is 3. 4 square equal to 16, square root of 16 is 4. So it's, it's very simple, right? There is nothing complicated here. If you know squares, trust me, you know square roots also. But just that, it's, an in, it's the inverse operation. Uh, compared to squares. So, 5 square is 25. So, square root of 25 is 5. 6 square is 36. Square root of 36 is 6. So, all of you know what is meant by square root. Now, 9 square is 81. Just to understand this further, 9 square is 81. Minus 9 square is also 81. So, we can actually say that Square root of 81, square roots of 81 are 9 and minus 9. Because in both the cases, when I move from right to left, I am either getting 9 or minus 9. So therefore, there are two integral square roots of a perfect square. Because 81, square root is, it can be 9 or minus 9. That if I write in words, there are two integral square roots of a perfect square. But in this chapter, we will take up only positive square root of a natural number. So positive square root is denoted by a symbol like this. For example, square root of 4 is represented this way, that's equal to 2. Square root of 9 is represented as like this, is equal to 3 and not minus 3. Because as I told you, we'll only consider, the simple means we'll only consider the positive root, positive square root of a natural number. So it's, it's very simple. Now just look at this table so you can understand this. 1 square is 1, that's the statement. So inference is root 1 equal to 1. This is mentioned like this, square root is uh, denoted this way. 2 square is 4, as a statement, square root of 4 is equal to 2. 3 square equal to 9, square root of 9 equal to 3. 4 square is equal to 16, square root of 16 equal to 4. This is how we represent. This I am doing it just for, just to make sure that all of you understand this representation. 5 square is 25. Square root of 25, this is how you read this, square root of 25 equal to 5. So, square root as a concept, I am sure it's very clear to all of you. Now we will figure out how to find out square roots using different methods.